My name is Faz Nazarifar with Mold Inspection Sciences and today I'm going to discuss why can't one just take samples and skip the inspection. Working in the mold inspection industry with thousands of previous clients, our clients often voice a multitude of concerns around the inspection process and why the client can't just have samples taken without a full inspection. I'm going to explain to you why it's imperative to not only take samples but also to have an inspection done. Firstly, the mold inspection process is an investigation. Knowing and understanding the source, as well as the reasons for mold growth, are just as important as discovering the physical mold and making determinations about it through lab analysis. We consider the mold inspection process to account for around 75% of the puzzle, whilst the sampling and testing facet of the process account for around 25% of the puzzle. Naturally, both the inspection and sampling facets complement one another and need to be conducted to fully understand what is occurring in the property. If the client relies on just one aspect of the investigation, then the results will be fragmented and not divulge the entire story. Secondly, the actual inspection side of the mould inspection utilises useful tools to conclude what type of environment the client is living in, in terms of how conducive it is for mould growth. Tools such as the moisture meter will test for otherwise hidden, actively wet areas such as drywalls, areas beneath the sink and exterior walls. Hygrometers will be used to test for relative humidity inside the house as well as outside. And the inspector will also utilise their own expertise as well as construction knowledge to determine areas of risk. Now a useful example would be if we had a new client named Mr Walker and he was interested in purchasing a property. Now he believes this property to be structurally sound and for there to not be any mole issues inside the property but he wants to take precaution because him and his family will be living there so he opts for a mold inspection. Conversely, he doesn't want to spend money on the actual inspection itself so he decides to have samples taken throughout the house. Now we conduct air quality samples in the master bedroom, the master bathroom and throughout the rest of the house. The samples come back um, relative to the outside baseline sample we take. The air quality results for Mr Walker's house all come back as being normal. Around a month after Mr. Walker moves in, he starts to register a musty odour emanating from the master bedroom, and he also notices swelling on the drywall adjacent to the bathroom shower. He then calls a plumber to determine if there's an issue. The plumber arrives and accesses the shower plumbing via the access panel and discovers three square feet of mould on the wall. Mr. Walker is baffled because all of the air quality results came back as being normal. Now why did this happen? This occurred because no inspection took place. If an inspection had taken place, then the certified mold inspector would have observed moisture retention at that drywall and around the plumbing areas. The inspector would have noted the swelling, the damage to the drywall, and made recommendations based on such findings, such as having a wall cavity done, which would have picked up on the mold in the wall cavity. Since there is a mold problem, which has only been discovered after Mr. Walker purchased the home, he will now have to burden the expenses of having mold remediation done, as well as replacing such items as the drywall and any other expenses incurred. This could have all been avoided if Mr. Walker had spent slightly more money for the full mold inspection during his due diligence, in which case the burden of expense would have fell on the seller. The reason why Mr. Walker's air samples came back as normal was because the mold growth in the wall cavity had an active source of water and food. Therefore, the mold was not actively sporulating, as well as being confined to the wall cavity area. It is very common to see a normal air sample reading under these conditions, which is why only having sampling conducted can be so misleading. This is why we recommend having both the mold inspection and sampling done. So to reiterate, to be as comprehensive as possible, when it comes to a mould inspection, it is best advised to have the full mould inspection done and the sampling done to get a full picture of what the condition of your property is.